Hi there, welcome back to episode 3 of Backtracking Death's Door. And we're picking up exactly where we left off in the last episode. Uh, we've just come back to the um, Hall of Doors in the Reaping Commission HQ with our newly acquired Speedy Speedy Rogue Daggers. Uh, do we have enough to level up? No, we're just shy. So there's nothing else to really do in this area, I don't think. So in this episode, we will be exploring the Urn Witch's Ceramic Manor. And trying to find out more about the witch herself. Uh, probably find out more about Pothead. Our interesting, eclectic companion. And I've just noticed all of the portraits on the walls. Oh, hang on as well. Can you hear that? I might have to boost that audio a little bit, but I'll do it now. But there's lots of whispering going around, like this entire manor is haunted with spirits. Maybe the spirits of the witch. We do know that the witch is keeping herself alive somehow for unnatural year amount of years, but you can see all the portraits all have some kind of pot for a head. Hmm. There is definitely some kind of un... what's the word? Unnatural alchemy going on. That is a giant door. I can talk to the door. Ancient door spirit. Living reaper, I souls. Oh, soul fruit. I was going to say maybe we, we will learn more about that ancient door soon. All these doors are locked. I love the way that when I, um, when I do a little dodge, uh, some of my feathers fly off. Uh, this appears to be the only way to go. So, very shiny floor. I want to get in the seat. Oh. Uh, it's locked. Maybe this wasn't the only way to go? Do you break stuff? That's like one of the locks when um, you... Oh! That explains that then. I was just about to say, it's one of the locks where you fight an enemy, and it... Okay, so we need to be aware that there are enemies hiding in... Of course there are enemies hiding in the pots, actually. Remember where we are. But yeah, there are enemies hiding in pots. And the pots magically fix themselves. Good to know. Missed both of them then. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> well, at least if the pots hit, fix themselves, it means we have an endless supply of arrows and magic. But what the hell was that? Oh. I don't know if I hit him though. Where is he? Where's he gone? Cool. Onwards. We just... Oh. Uh, methinks it's puzzle time. Oh, big, giant, glowing key. I suspect that uh, we need to get you. I love the sort of the isometric design of this game because it's just kind of you know you can't quite tell what levels you can and can't go on. Is that not it? Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, we see. Yeah, you can't quite tell because of the camera angle what's on your level and what's not, what you can get to and stuff. But I really enjoy it when the cap, when the camera of the world itself flips around. You know, when you find like a secret area. Also, need to remember that we've got the Reaper claws on now, so they've got less reach. Uh, that's so I've got to destroy these pots, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, there are just pots in chairs. Wait, how do I get... See what I mean? That is a perfect example of what I was just talking about. Because from here, that kind of looks like we might be able to get that pot on top of that table, but we're not on the set. We're not on the right level. Um, oh, there's another one here. Anything back here? 
Nope, just me mashing my face against the wall. <clears throat> There'll be one up here. What? Yeah, here we go. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. And then we can drop onto this table. Nice. But yeah, anyway, I totally glossed over the fact that there are just pots in chairs now. I wonder if these are m m members of the family of the Urn Witch. Uh, well, shiny cobwebs. Burn them. That's satisfying. I like that. Ooh. Always plant a seed when you can. Although I have no seeds left, so I have to find another one soon. Um, it's another puzzle area, isn't it? Oh, we got those fires that need lighting. Okay, uh, how do we light them, though? Ah. So we start with this one. And then, like, okay, yep, 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 yep. I get it. I've played video games before. Did that reach? Awesome. Oh, I thought that that would open this little grate here. Was that it? Did that. Did I do it? Oh! And then we use that to burn the cobwebs. Only just got that then. Cool. Oh, well, I didn't mean to fall off there, but actually, whilst we're down here, let's break some pots and get back our, uh, there's nothing down there, is there? Hang on. Sorry, I want to see if, oh. It's just the wall. Always on the hunt and look out for secrets. And, oh. Oh. Well, even if you've only been playing video games for five seconds, you understand that this is some sort of boss area, arena. So let's see what we're up against. Um, it's... It has a mouth. It's trying to eat me with its... Sternum tongue. Oh, cool. So I think... We only damage it on the tongue, maybe? We have to break its guard. Oh, you know what? These uh, rogue daggers might be actually really good for this. Because I can break its guard and then keep on wailing away at it. God, this is a weird, freaky looking thing. Oh, no, it's not stopped. I don't think I'm damaging it with the arrows. I think I actually can only hit the tongue. Nice. Oh, this thing is riddled with cracks. It is going down. Oh, but I got cocky. There we go. Right, cool. It popped. It broke. Look, there's part of its tooth. And it's just its tongue on the floor. I'm glad this game isn't more um, graphic. Oh, oh, oh. It appears we... I don't know what kind of voice to give a, a crow ghost. It appears we've... It appears we've been abandoned here. I don't think anyone is coming to open the door. Oh. Okay. So that... Oh, sh... Right, okay. So I suppose we kind of almost come into, like... Like organically, we've sort of almost come into our first sort of law um, heavy section. Like clearly, there were other. We're not the only uh, soul reaping crow, which we already know, because there's others at the uh, Reaping Commission HQ. But clearly, others have come to this mansion before us, and for some reason couldn't get back, couldn't use the doors to get back, and they've just been stuck here. Maybe the witch's magic has imprisoned them in this realm. And they've just kind of died of old age, which is just really sad. 
And I'm guessing... Oh, that sounded like that grate over here just opened. Oh! Sorry. I... That just... that uh, Yeah, that completely took me by surprise. The Urn Witch, I assume? The Witch of Urns. Oh, she's going to be a... Got to give her like a creepy grandma voice. Hello! No, that sounded a bit weird already, right? Hello, dear. Quite unexpected to see a crow around the place. Does this mean the deal is off? What deal? See what I mean? Law nuggets. We're learning a little bit more each time. What brings an adorable fellow like you into my little house? I'm channeling... <clears throat> Every retelling of like Hansel and Gretel or something with a witch that I could possibly think of there. Can we speak to her? Oh, I don't like the way her eyes. Has she got like double pupils? I do not like the way her eyes follow it. You know what she reminds me of, actually? And I don't know where this has just clicked from. She's very like Studio uh, Ghibli. Ghibli? How do you pronounce it? Studio Ghibli esque. In fact, this entire story, this entire game actually is quite Ghibli esque. Uh, do I... Oh! Don't know if that might come back to haunt us uh, later on, but... Oh! Oh, okay. We're just back to the beginning. Oh! Pothead! Hmm. This door looks rather out of place, as if it were from another world. Pothead's just exposition man at this point. It actually looks a little like you, big face, though perhaps a trifle more imposing. So, when we released the, the, the soul, the spirit of that dead crow, it lit up that square there, and it looks like there's four more notches all around the door, so let's assume that we've got three more spirit crow, uh, crow spirits to find. Uh, okay, he doesn't say anything new. Okay, has another area opened up? Can we... Oh, do we get... I don't even remember picking up that key. Oh, oh. Kamikaze pots now. Excellent. Just what just what I wanted. Ooh. Uh, okay, so we've got... Oh, there's some soul thingy there. How do we get to that? Oh. Massively overthinking how we get to that. Oh, and then we, I guess we just... It's just a puzzle area again, isn't it? We just shoot that one? Dope. Where's the door that we're unlocking? Oh, it's up here. Damn, this woman, this urn witch is well off. Never mind the fact she's got a mansion and giant gardens, but... Look at the size of these rooms! Oh, no! Oh, it's not a kamikaze one, it's just... So can I attack this? Is that pot bouncing towards me? Oh god, they're quite... They're quite tough. Ooh, did I just stop it... Doing its, uh... Rapid spin then with an arrow? That's good to know if that's true. Are you... I can't... I don't know which ones are kamikaze pots and which ones are just... Oh, what am I doing? There's a... Key urn... Unlockable thing there. Whatever you call them. I don't know the names for any of, like, the the things in this game. Uh, oh, Christ. I'm glad I kept on... Dope. How do we get to that soul fruit? Quite easily, actually, Jordan. You just walk to it. Was that all the, um... Was that the last one? Did the door open? Oh, no, this is... This one. Do we just shoot it from here? Oh, nice. I don't think there were any other goodies around the room, was there? Oh, it looks like we're going into a second puzzle room. Oh, and there's another... Oh, okay, right. I do remember getting the other key. So that... So we... Each section of the mansion we go into, we get a key for the next section. Makes sense. How are, you got, how are you all enjoying this series? Um, please genuinely do let me know because I'm really interested to to hear, you know... Oh, oh help, fuck it in. 
excuse me, I'm genuinely really interested if you're enjoying it, what you want to see, anything you think I can improve on, etc, etc. That's a, a tacky pot. Oh, it was a blowy uppy pot. I really need to be able to identify these pots a little better because hmm, that was not the way to go. Because losing health to them when you've only got four health points is not good. Up here. I feel like we need to shoot that, but we're above it now. Oh. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. So, I don't, I don't really see what, down here, and then, no, what is the use of all this, what is the point of this, oh, it's how we get to the actual, oh, for God's sake, I've just fallen off again, BRB. Right, and then we fire an arrow from here. Hey, okay, that gives us the key. Dope, right, so we've got the key to the next area of the mansion now. We just need to... So I'm assuming there's like three more areas to the... the I can't remember before anyone says anything in the comments. Um, so there'll be like three more areas to the mansion, three more crow souls, etc. Oh, no! Curse my dodging. Curse my itchy trigger finger. Can cut all this bit out. Cool. Push the lever. Oh, are you kidding me? It literally... God damn it. Plant a seed. Uh, might as well heal it, because I'm going to guess that this is going to be a boss room. Or a sub-boss. Oh, there's the crow soul. So are we going to get another... Yes, we are going to get... Oh, no, he's got reinforcements. Shh. Oh, this is the first time that we take... Oh, no. Oh, that was lucky. Right, okay, we've got rid of the... Wait, are you kidding me? Do they just infinitely spawn until we take out the big knight? That is absolute... That's bullshit. Oh no, I'm almost dead! Oh sh Wow, I'm finding this quite difficult. Who would have thought just adding two enemies would make this so much more difficult? Right. Now keep our wits about us. Get out of there. Ooh. Oh, no! Damn. Just adding two more scrubs. Has me oh, Christ. We end up back in, like, the, the main foyer? Damn. Yeah, it was up here, wasn't it? Literally adding two scrubs. Okay. <laughs> they just... They ran straight past me. Yeah, literally adding two scrubs to that. Oh, it wasn't that far. Made that way more difficult. Hmm. I wonder if... I wonder if we switch to the Reaper Sword for the extra range so I don't have to get quite as close when there's three of them. We'll do that. Switch to the Reaper Sword for this one. It also does more damage. So in theory, we might be able to get rid of these guys a lot quicker. Oh, I got cocky then, didn't I? Alright, yeah, both of them are down. Yeah, I think the sword might be the way to go for this. Oh, I just wasted that arrow, Jesus. Ah. Oh, God. I'm getting distracted by the scrubs. All 
Alright. Lure them down here. Out of the way. Oh, I wish he did friendly fire. Oh, he's down. Oh, sick. Right, okay. I thought that when we took out the... The mouth knight? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Uh, the tongue knight. I thought um, it would, like... Despawn the scrubs, but... I guess not Christ. I littered... I, there's a massacre gun on in here. I love the way his tongue just ends up there. Right. In, we need to speak in solemn reverence to this soul. Is one of our colleagues, our companions. She said I would live forever, but with a pot for a head. No thanks. Okay, so. I'm thinking that the Urn Witch has used some sort of magic to trap these, uh, these Reapers here. And then tried to bargain with them, maybe. They've said no, so they've just kind of died of old age in the end, I guess. She's trapped them in these rooms that they couldn't get out of because they wouldn't, you know, let themselves be turned into immortal, pot-headed creatures. Oh, she's back. Oh, listen to that music turn. Oh, it sent a shiver down my spine. Oh, heavens, my house is a mess. My beautiful urns shattered. Ahem, <clears throat> I mean, I must apologize for the state of the house, dearie. I wasn't expecting guests. Be gone, foul witch. Oh, I don't like her. She gives me the heebie-jeebies. Cool, right, that's another section done, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, so we got the key, so we can go to the next one. Are we sticking with the sword, or are we switching to the... The daggers? Well, you're... You're one that blows up, no? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, they're all... Jesus! It's a full-on ambush. Oh, that was kind of handy that they all lined themselves up there. Uh, up here, on top of these uh, shelves and bookcases and uh, cabinets. Because I want this yummy, yummy soul fruit. Mm. That's one thing I meant to ask, actually. Um, if any of you are enjoying this playthrough, like, are you enjoying it enough to go and pick up the game? Please do let me know because I would I would actually love to to know that just being able to get this get, uh, this sort of I mean it's not super well known game let's be honest in the grand scheme of things but just getting this game out there to a bit of an audience you know getting more eyeballs on it I'd love to know if people are picking it up or if they want to I'm kind of inclined to just smash everything. Has there ever been- Oh, okay. I didn't know that there were goodies actually in boxes. We need to make sure we smash all boxes. Oh, kamikaze pop, kamikaze pop. Luckily, it just runs straight past us, so I'm fine with that. Let's go here. Oh, I remember this. You have to look at the reflections on the floor. Oh yeah, the door, look, because the door's over there. Uh, oh, maybe we have to go up here? Yeah, you have to like use the reflections of the door so you know where you're in the right place. And then you just go through. Shrine! I do remember that, that like in the Urn Witch's Mansion you have to pay attention to the reflections on the floor, which is such a cool little addition. The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a magic crystal. You now have two shards. Two more will make, raise your magic capacity. Dope. That's. I think we've got a shard in every episode so far, right? You need to keep an eye on the reflections on the floor for more of those into here. Hey there. Seeing as that you've made it this far into the video, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you're decently interested in what happens in the rest of the series. 
So, I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of what you can expect coming up in next week's episode. Oh, and while you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must have some alone time with this infuriating young lad here. Hopefully, I can make him see sense. Now, please, go away! The Witch of Urns. Grandma! And we are here for our first major, major uh, storyline boss of the game. How about that for an episode? Get your boss battle at the end? I think we'll head back to Reaping Commission HQ and... Hang on. Uh, this was definitely not the door that we went in. I was going to say, we're following quite a tried and tested formula now, aren't we? Like, head into an area, it's going to be puzzle based. Yeah, cool. Alright, so, just arrow this one. Ah, oh, this was one of the easier ones. Onto the bed. Nice. Yeah, okay, so we get the idea. It's going to be like, puzzle area, each sort of one we go into, it's going to be like, puzzle area, puzzle area, boss rush, mini boss fight thing. And then the urn witch will show up. But a lot of them are explodey pots. Oh, that means. Oh no, damn it. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted. Haha! <laughs> Where's that guy? Oh, damn it. I keep running out of arrows at the time when it would have been perfect for an environmental kill. No! Well, you know what? All I'm going to say is I thank that uh, scrub boss then, for, uh, that scrub enemy then, just for running against that pot whilst I got some arrows to kill him. Oh, uh, we don't need any health, but let's plant a seed there just in case we do. The seeds are quite plentiful, actually. Like, I don't remember when I first, when I did my first ever playthrough of this game, I don't remember being having this many. So maybe I just wasn't finding them all or something. Oh, okay, right. Damn. Right, next, right straight into another boss battle. Oh, that was an awful start. I'm not even hitting, oh god, wizards. Actually, the wizards might be easier. So at least they don't crowd me. And I can hit their projectiles back, I suppose. If I need to. I don't know who to prioritise. Oh, that's homing. Right, okay. Do I just prioritise the big dude? Oh, the wizard got me. Shit. I don't know who to prioritise. Oh, no. There's just a lot going on. And I mean, I can't really prioritize the wizards because they'll just keep coming back anyway. Damn it, right, you stay there. Urgh. Damn wizards. Okay, that actually worked out in our favour that time. Ooh, that was a dodge at the last second. Right, got rid of that one. Got rid of that one. Right, come on. Take him out. Dope. Right, we just need to finish off the wizards. Without dying. Get him before he attacks. Oh no! Oh, my heart rate elevated then. I thought he was just gonna like shoot off a projectile right when I was like, you know, in, in between like attack animation and dodge animation, and he was just gonna get me. Damn, did that with us by the skin of my teeth. More law. I'm starting to question the authority of our Lord of Doors, although it might be a bit late given that I am deceased. Okay, so that's the first mention of the Lord of Doors. 
We will we will learn more about him uh, in the coming episodes. Look at just the teeth. So gross. Uh, oh, let's definitely get this. Jesus. We need it now more than ever. Oh, here she is. Damn, that, that music change every time. It sends a shiver down my spine. Oh, goodness. You're not the cause of all this ruckus, are you? Hmm. <laughs> I would not be very hospitable to any beast who would mistreat my children. Tread lightly, Reaper. Hiya! I love how she's like, I would not be I would not be nice to anyone that like mistreats my children. Look at all the dead bodies. And all we've done the three times we've met her is hit her with a weapon. We're clearly not a very um What's the word I'm looking for? We're not a very like, she can be as hospitable as she wants, but when... Is there an easier way to get back to the, uh, uh, the foyer? Yeah, we're not being a very, uh, considerate guest, are we? Uh, oh! Pop, Pad, we didn't talk to you earlier. How goes the exploration, my friend? This mansion is dark and full of strange creatures. Please stay vigilant. I haven't made a new companion in a great many years, so I do hope we survive our first adventure together. Got to assume, then, that, um... Because I think one of the crow spirits mentioned that um, the urn, or mentioned that like putting the pots on their heads made these people immortal, or at least very long lived. I can't remember the exact turn of phrase it used. So one would assume when he said that then about um, not having made a friend in many years, one would assume that because his pot, has, his head has been replaced with a pot, he's immortal or something. Uh, where was the last? No, we did that one. Did the one up there? Was the one down here? Hmm. Uh, we did that one, right? Yeah, I think that was the first one. We did that one. Am I losing my mind here? Is there not another... Where do we go? Two hours later. Oh! Yeah, right, okay. I just must not have explored this bottom part of the uh, <clears throat> of this corridor, so I guess we go down here. This. Well, again... Oh, what's this do? This is, this is clearly a boss arena, by the way, let's be honest. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, cool. We've opened up a little shortcut down here. That's good to know. Right. <clears throat> oh. Tasty, tasty soul fruit. This, again, is clearly a boss battle. Boss arena. There's also a soul fruit. Uh, there's some soul on that chandelier. Oh, we can talk to you. A large talking... A, a large talking pot. Shall we dance? Oh, that is not dancing. Oh! Oh, I can hit him while he's spinning. Well, I could hit him while he's spinning if I could actually, you know, aim. Where is he? Where is he? Oh. I keep missing him. Oh, damn it. Shit. This guy is kicking my ass. Oh, he's down. We've actually got quite a lot of soul now that I've just seen it. Um, we should probably level up at some point. When we get the chance. At least you don't lo lose the souls uh, when you die on this game. It's very un like in that regard. Um... Oh, keys. Alright, yeah, the keys. Okay, so we've opened that. How do we get that soul through? Do we shoot it down? Hmm. Just chop it down. Oh! Yes, we do. Nice. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we've just opened that uh, direction, but there's a soul fruit down there. Ah, that's a trap, if I've ever seen one. There it is. I walked into that. I'm just going to grab this. Oh, come on. Come back. Where are you? Okay. 
Damn it. I... I feel like I'm too aggressive. Like, I keep letting myself get down to one health point. Ooh, what's this? And then I panic. You found an old engagement ring. Now you just need to find someone who would want to marry you. I think you can read these in the menu. Inspect. It's like Resident Evil. Uh, okay, so old engagement ring. This ring belonged to the Urnwitch, a gift from her late husband. It dates from a time long before you were even an egg. It seems she may have had to remove it because of her constantly swelling body. Such are the risks of living beyond your years. And we've just got a pot down here as well, so at least we can heal. Oh, what are they? Like, tanks with, like, eyeballs in them? Oh. I really need to pay more attention to where I'm rolling. Okay, so it looks like we can collect those little... What they, I don't even know what the menu called them, then. Shiny things! We can collect shiny things around this world. And we'll get a little bit more lore each time we do. It's good to know. Uh, it appears you have an infestation in your attic. Uh, let's light these things. So we've got a little bit of light. God, there's loads of them. Jesus, where do you even... Ah! Ah! Yeah, I think the, the extra reach on the sword is really useful uh, when I'm when you're getting swamped by enemies. Why did you? Why could you? Is this is like a secret area? Hmm. Wonder why you could like light all the braziers down here. God, I can't even aim properly. Oh, I, I hit that one at the back, actually. Maybe I can aim very well. Oh, damn it. I don't have anything as well. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. Oh, God, I didn't see these guys. Oh. Do you have to maybe, like, just maybe light them all? And then... Okay, yeah, you have to light them all, and then you get secrets. But there's also this up here. What is this one? I want to know more. Have we got a soul fruit spare? Oh, we do. Sick. Can I light that in the corner? I can. Oh, it doesn't do anything, but... Uh, are we thinking boss battle? I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking boss battle. Take a swig. This is properly the uh, attic. No? No boss battle? Oh, this one died, like, looking out the window. That's really sad. Why did the door close? How can we get back? So they were literally just completely trapped. That's really sad. Looks like that door's open now. It's got glowing red eyes. That can't be good. what this is. Oh! Well now, little crow! You have well and truly outstayed your welcome. First you lead my daft grandson astray. Wait, did we... We knew that he was a grandson, right? If not, revelations. First you lead my daft grandson astray, filling that head of his with nonsense ideas about curses. And then you come in here and smash up all my beautiful urns. I'm just trying to help people. If you set foot in my basement, there will be consequences. I might even have to have words with your employer. Although I'd rather not see that old weirdo go... Although I'd rather not see that old weirdo again. I mean, a lock for a head. So strange. Off with you, little crow! Piss off. She's a proper villain, like... She oh... I'm, I'm, I need to know more, because at this moment in time, I'm like, she's a proper villain. Because she's just taking the heads off people, turning them into urns, and giving them a natural life. But at the same time, she said that she thinks she's helping people. Hmm. Ooh. 
Oh, I reckon we can get two upgrades. So we've got enough for two upgrades now, I think. Oh, this opened up. Where's this go? Oh, cool. That's handy. Right then. What do you reckon? Head into the, uh, into the menacing looking door? All of the voids are aglow with an earthly light. Is it unlocked? If only I had a more complete understanding of doors. Before you proceed, Beak Face, I have a confession to make. The old witch of the- <laughs> Okay, so we didn't know that they were related, right. The old witch of this house, she is my grandmother. She cursed me with this ceramic- <laughs> She cursed me with this ceramic cranium. God, I don't know what- <clears throat> Say that again. She cursed me with this ceramic cranium in a misguided effort to make me immortal. You see, he was stricken with grief when my grandfather passed and made it her mission to keep our whole family alive forever. Her research led her to believe that replacing one's head with an urn would somehow strike you from death's ledgers. However, I resisted. During the struggle, her spell must have gone awry, for as you can see, I have a pot for a head. I fear she has gone too far beyond her years, and her soul has swollen and grown corrupted. I've seen it happen in this land many times. As a reaper, I implore you to end her suffering and bring her soul into the next life. Perhaps she can find peace once again. Okay, so we got a massive lore dump then. Not only are, is Pothead her actual grandson, but she isn't actually quite a villain. She's Obviously, she was gr uh, grieving when her husband passed and in an attempt to save the, you know, in an attempt to basically stop the rest of her family dying and having to live through grief, she used alchemy, magic, curses, whatever, to transform them all into pots. So basically, all the pots that we've been smashing in this mansion are her relatives. Damn, I'm surprised she's not more pissed at us. <laughs> Obviously, something went wrong with potheads and he's only half a pot urn thing. Damn, I actually kind of feel a lot bad now. I don't feel like I'm doing the right thing. But then again, I suppose he did say, like, can you can you reap her soul because it's grown too big and corrupted? So, mm. anyway. Be wary, living reaper. Oh, okay, I thought there was going to be more to that. Nope. Right. <clears throat> Into the void. That wasn't what I was expecting. I remember. Mimic! <laughs> Look at that tongue. Time for a proper boss. Uh, time for a proper, proper wave attack now. Oh god, there's so many. Oh, they fire projectiles. I was going to say, those spinny ones could get dangerous. Um, I don't know how many waves there is, how many enemies there will be. Stop spinning. Right, we've done one. Oh, kamikaze pots. Let them just run themselves to death, I guess. Whilst avoiding... Oh, no, I ran straight into that one. Shit. Oh, I've got them both, then. Right, we just got the wizards left? No. Okay, so they're not... Right, the kamikaze pots aren't running into anything, so we need to actually kill them. Oh, I thought you'd hit me, then. Did I kill him? Where is he? Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, this isn't too bad. Managed to get rid of loads of them then. It's just you and me. Right, that's wave three. Oh... 
Oh no. Oh god. Ah, uh, right. Thin the herd and take out the big guy at the end. That's the plan. Let's get rid of these little guys. Oh, go away. Right, it's just you, me and you, big guy. <clears throat> I can take this guy. He was only ever difficult when he had minions. I actually wonder if... Ah, I was going to say, I wonder if it would be better to switch to the... Uh, the daggers for this one, because there's not... I don't need to do any crowd control now, but... I don't... <clears throat> I don't reckon my chances of trying to switch weapon in a menu mid-boss fight. Ooh. I got lucky then. Oh, dope, I killed him. Hey, that wasn't so bad. I think I got lucky on that, um... Was it the third or the last one where they all lined up together and managed to hit them with the sword all at once? A beautiful... I guess golden crow? <clears throat> I, need, I don't know what sort of voice this would have. It'd be really ethereal, but... A gift to a fellow crow to aid on your quest. And this, I think, if our memory serves me right, is how we get uh, new magic abilities. Flame spell acquired. Press the D-pad, or left on the D-pad to switch to the flame spell, or up on the D-pad to switch to arrows. And you can see it top left. Dope. That wasn't so bad. I think we, I think, I'm not going to lie, to toot my own horn, I think... The, I performed that quite admirably. So, same buttons, but we just Kamehameha, a fireball. This is what I meant earlier. I think I said it in a previous episode that as we get these new power ups, these new magic abilities, there'll be new areas that unlock that in everywhere that we can explore a little bit, including the Reaping Commission HQ. Um, I think if we go around this way. Yeah. Like, we will... Oh. Lovely bit of soul. Oh, we got loads of soul. We can definitely upgrade quite a lot now. We should be able to find... Like... Uh, items and stuff. Like, in the closed off areas of the Reaping Commission HQ. Like this ledger, this book here. That'll shed a little light onto what's happened. This, appear to, this appears to be a Reaper's Abandoned Logbook. We've been ordered to disconnect a series of open doors in the region around the recent anomalous energy surge. So, are we going to assume that that's around the Urn Witch's Mansion? That's why those crows got stuck there? This area had previously been quite active with Commission members assisting the Witch with her research. Assisting the Witch? Oh. Interesting. So... Maybe they weren't necessarily... Well, I suppose they were still trapped there, but maybe they were actually, like, trying to get souls to help the witch with her magic and alchemy and stuff? Hmm. The order came through and was ex executed immediately, so I'm not sure what's happened to the crows that were there. Well, we know. They died. All doors have been sealed for now, and outstanding work orders in the region have been manually closed. Quite strange, but it's above my pay grade. I find it's better not to ask questions. Hmm. The Unwitch did mention as well, like, um, our boss and stuff, so. There's more to this mystery. Oh, dope. I, I don't know where we are. That Vaga? Ah, I see you've been exploring the old office departments. I used to work over in the east section before I embraced my true life and quit the rat race. I'm much happier now, but that was, on but that was one lovely cozy office. I love these little sprite things. Is that Badger? Seems like you're finding a wealth of souls out there. Where are they coming from? I haven't seen so much soul energy in decades. Maybe even centuries. Okay. Well, 
that seems like the perfect place to leave today's episode. I think what we'll do at the beginning of the next episode is use all our soul energy to level up. But until then, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're enjoying, what you're not enjoying. And please join me for the next episode where I guess we continue the search for the Urn Witch. We've got to hunt this woman down somehow. But until then, take care and bye.